okay this is a coke snowflake and as you can see i can decrease the number of these patterns or increase it and in this tutorial i'm going to talk about the coke snowflake which is actually this pattern and you can see it's starting with an equilateral triangle dividing and just making a fractal uh, basically this tutorial is to show you how you can also produce a fractal in grasshopper uh, we have several tutorials on our youtube channel and in our course uh, power course about uh, fractals and iteration in grasshopper but this tutorial is about making this uh, coke snowflakes from scratch so what i want to do is to first explain how it's produced and then we can start it in grasshopper if you have an equilateral triangle and divide each of its edges into three sections like that uh, and, and assume that we produce another equilateral triangle on this edge it's going to produce this uh, lines again you can divide this into three sections put an equilateral triangle on that it's going to produce this one and as you go further you will produce the a coke snowflake so what we want to do is to model this from scratch first of all you have to install the anemone plugin which i will also put in the website and you can download it by going to the curve section and primitive and produce a polygon so i want to make a triangle you can simply put a polygon here uh, let's put the bifocals plugin so you can see what i'm doing and the segments is three. So we want a triangle and we can give it a radius. So this is what we want to get started, okay? Uh, now what we want to do is to do the first step into the Anomaly plugin. Uh, let's just go to the tab and there is two classic and fast. We have a tutorial about this. We have talked about it in uh, our anomaly tutorial i will put it up in the description and in this card section so you can watch it and learn more if you want to learn more about this plugin so now we want to use the fast one because the uh, fast loop can show you the results faster so it's a start and an end loop we have to connect the upper part here and our data comes in uh, goes into the loop and then go back uh, out from the loop here and here we give the iterations the number of the times we want to do that loop so it's really easy you have to make that algorithm in the loop to produce that uh, coke uh, snowflake and then you can just put the iteration and increase the iteration the best thing you can do is to first uh, explode this triangle into sections so i'm going to go to the curve section and use the explode and you have segments we have three segments lines and i give it to the data remember whatever you give into the uh, input it's going to go into the output so if we start with lines you have to give it a line if you go with polyline you have to go also with the polyline at, as the output so i'm going to use these three lines and produce that algorithm for the division let's go to the curve section and use this divide tool here divide curve divide this curve into three sections i'm going to divide this into three sections and now what we want to do is to move the midpoint of this section a little bit forward to produce an equilateral triangle and make the first step so if we have four points here right i'm going to go to the sets and list item to pick up things and use this zoom in to have those four points okay we have all of these four points in this output so one of the lines we need is to make a line from the curve section to connect the first one to the second this is obvious because we want this part uh, the next part is to connect the third one to the last one so again we have this part so remember we made these two lines and now what we have to do is to make the two set of those snowflakes coke snowflakes we want to uh, produce it's obvious we have to make a line here so i'm going to make a line from these two points and find the mid center 
uh, or the center of this and move it in the normal direction, right? Uh, what we can do is to use a perpendicular frame tool, a component, you can just type by PER. We have also another tutorial about perpendicular frames, how we can use it in Grasshopper to produce designs. So I'm going to put it up here if you want to watch it. And uh, what we have to do is to say we want at the center. So I'm going to give it 0 0.5. It's at the center of those lines. If I go to the perspective, you can see that it's going to give you a perpendicular frame. And the reason we use this frame is to move those points in the Y direction. Remember, we have to give it a Y. So I'm going to go to the vector section and use this deconstruct plane to deconstruct those planes into the origin. Uh, the x, y, and the z axis. So now what we want to do is to move it, move this origin, which is here in the y axis. I'm going to multiply that, and we have to give this multiplication. How much should we move this point in the y direction to have an equilateral triangle? Basically, it's not really hard and complicated to find that. If you uh, assume that this line here is called A, right? We have this section which is A divided by 3. And if we want to move that to make something like this, an equilateral triangle, it's we have to find this one, right? We don't know this one. So uh, what are the degrees? If you have an equilateral uh, triangle, this is going to be 60 degrees. So remember, we have a 60 degrees here. And it's really easy. What we want to do is to say the tangent of 60 degree is equal to what we don't have divided by a divided by 3, right? So if you want to find it, you can simply multiply tangent 60 degree with the a divided by 3. So let's just go here to this section we have to go to the list item and pick one of the edges because we have three of them here. We simply just pick one of them and you can connect a number from the params menu to find the length. That's the length of this here and we can simply divide that by three in the math section, division. That's divided by three, okay. The next part is to just type the tangent here we have it. Remember, it's in radians, so you have to right-click and put it in the degrees. And we had a 60 degrees, so let's just do that. 60 degrees. So remember, the 60 degrees, the tangent of the 60 degrees is going to be what we want to a divided by three. Uh, excuse me, it's basically a div uh, divided by six because if this is a divided by three. This one is going to be a divided by six. So we can simply just put that to six. Okay. So remember we have to multiply that into the section. What we want to do is to multiply this one with this one and we have the lengths we have to move. Just put it here. And you can see it's completely correct because if you want to make a let me just make this an edge on this one. You can see that the point is correct. So it's a complete uh, equilateral triangle, the tangent of the 60 degrees multiplied by A divided by 6. And now we have this point. We can make it go to the curve, a line. The second one is going to be connected to this point. We have this one. Let's just bring these lines forward okay uh, another one will be connect the third point into this point we made okay so now what we will have to do is to connect all of these lines together I'm going to go to the uh, curve section join curve and remember you have to use the shift key to add all them up and the most important thing is to uh, flatten flatten all of them because we want to make a complete boundary so if you can you can see that it's going to join 
uh, 3 by 3 we don't need that we have to flatten this and if you don't know about flatten I'm going to put it up in the description so let's just flatten this and here you can see that we have let's just turn everything off uh, you can see that we have produced the first step uh, now what we have to do is to remember we just gave uh, lines here uh, we have to make lines if we want to give it to the output remember that so I'm going to add another explosion here so we have always that line I'm going to explode the input again or we can simply do that we can bring the polygon in and then explode it okay I hope that you don't get confused here it's not really important but what I want to explain is that we produce the polygon we put it in in inside and then we explode it into segments three and now when we give the join curve into the output what happens is that it's going to go back and then be exploded into what six or seven I don't know what the num it's going to go back and be exploded into one two three four twelve segments right uh, so this explosion has to go in front of the anemone plugin okay we are good to go what we have here is the output so I'm going to connect this as the output and we don't want to see anything so we're going to turn everything off and now it's the iteration time so we have from one iteration to maybe four iteration and the first step is the star uh, as we increase that to one uh, we will have the uh, coke snowflake and as we increase that you can see it's going to give you more of those patterns and it's going to uh, be more complicated because it uh, takes time to calculate it so you can see it's going to divide it all up till the end so that was the tutorial of how you can make uh, the coke snowflake in grasshopper and you can see it's not really hard you have to play with it the most important thing about grasshopper is that you can uh, convert that triangle into a square and you can see it's going to give you results so we have just simply made a new generation of the coke snowflakes maybe we just increase that to five and you can see it's giving you results and it's a complete closed uh, polyline which you can connect a surface from the palms menu and make that surface so thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel remember to comment on our video to support our channel and see you next time